Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on a Redis database. So in the last lecture we have seen how to install the Redis database from after compiling the whole source code and we started successfully the Redis server and a Redis client. So in this tutorial we are going to see about the very simple Redis command that how to set a string, get a string, how to retrieve a multiple string, how we can imp increment or decrement a particular uh, keys value how you can expire particular key and how you can uh, get the multiple keys values so let's start about this so we have already successfully start this uh, redis server now suppose uh, we want to shut down this server shut down so it's aut automatically disconnected you cannot run any kind of command so if you do this ping could not connect redis to this particular so in that case you need to start this server again okay now so again we do the ping and it has given us pong that means server is client is connected to the server now let's start with a very simple basic command like uh, let's set very simple key with set let's say key is equal to hello and value will be world okay let's set another more value like a uh, count will be 10 okay so this way we can set the value this is a key and this is value this is key and this is value suppose we want to retrieve this hello okay it has written as world let's say we want to retrieve the key count so get count it has written as 10 now suppose we want to retrieve multiple keys so instead of get we can use m get so it will return as multiple values for uh, all given keys so key will be let's say hello and count okay so for the hello the first one is void for the count it is a 10 now the second one is uh, like an integer or float so we can apply uh, increment or decrement counter also so uh, suppose we want to increment uh, the count by one so i and cr we can use it key will be count okay so it has written as 11 and after that suppose we do get count it will return as 11 so count has been incremented suppose we do it again okay it be incremented to the 12 let's see how decrement will work same way we can use decrement okay now get count it has decremented 12 to 11 so in this way we can use simple set get even m get command incr and a decrement uh, command now let's see one more uh, command expire suppose uh, some key we want that key to be expired after certain second so uh, let's say let's set some key like a uh, hello hello is already been created and we want to uh, get it expired so we need to use expire command actually expire after 20 second so this hello key will be expired after 20 second now let's say uh, retrieve this hello so it has written as void and there is a one more command ttl will tell us that how many seconds are left to get this key acquired time to leave only five second three second now it's a one second it's minus two so uh, already been expired now if we suppose do get hello it will return nil because that cook that key has been expired let's suppose set it again set hello while And let's uh, stack this hello for 30 seconds. 
so we can keep uh, watching about this TTL hello 26 second left 24 second left now in this case intermediately if you retrieve this with the help of get this hello command it will return us void successfully 14 second only left now now 11 second only left so after 30 second it will just expire okay so these are all some of the basic command like how you can set uh, and get a very simple key value store here value will be very simple string so uh, this is all about the very simple string related manipulation okay it has given us nil in future lecture we are going to see that instead of just simple string how we can put uh, a list uh, hash map or a sorted set set kind of complex data structure in a key value pair kind of storage in a redis data set and we are also see that how we can uh, use this functionality directly from a thin python library rather than using from this command line because suppose we want to use those functionality in a python programming language or any other higher level programming language you need to use that programming language to connect to the redis data set uh, this is just uh, giving you small glimpse that how you can connect to redis data set how you you can store and get the uh, data so that's it for this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please 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 do subscribe and support my channel